Well, this is Dr. Stan back here at Radio Liberty, coming to you from the hills overlooking beautiful and picturesque Monterey Bay and, and bringing you the news behind the news, the story behind the story. Hoping to convince you that reality is usually scoffed at, that illusion is usually king. But in the battle for survival of Western civilization, it's going to be reality, not illusion or delusion that will determine what the future will bring. And, and uh, he got to the, uh, to the microphone and he said, my, uh, my question is to be addressed to Dr. Monteith. He said, Dr. Monteith, he said, now, of course, uh, are you a professor of belief in Jesus Christ? But how do you know, of course, that uh, perhaps uh, Lucifer really uh, is not really God? Of course, this is the Gnostic belief, and i not even alluded to that. I mean, how do you know that Lucifer really isn't a good God who's far more powerful than the God you worship? The, the, that was, in essence, what he asked. Now, how do you answer that question? Well, I didn't know quite what to say, but you know, sometimes God does, I believe, direct our minds into giving a proper answer, and I just, momentarily I wondered, what am I going to say? And what I said was, well, I want to thank you so much for that question. I mean, that is a wonderful question, because basically, you know, I've been talking about the fact that there really are people out there who worship Lucifer. Uh, the Gnostic religion is the dominant religion working behind the scenes in America today. Many of our leaders are Gnostics, and they worship Lucifer. And I want to thank you so very much for actually asking that question, because, of course, you have demonstrated exactly what I've been trying to say. And this young man, oh, this look of fear came over his face. He turned and he literally ran out of the room. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's just amazing how God does work in the affairs of men. We'll be right back. <laughs> 